Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square, Southern District of New York Courthouse. We're starting a new trial today, that of Rosario versus the City of New York. Richard Rosario, jailed for 20 years for murder in the Bronx uh, of George Colazzo. Turned out he had 13 alibi witnesses in Florida, but the police never called any of them, and his lawyer never looked into them, really. Uh, and so he spent 20 years in jail. He was released and now he sued the city. So we're going to be covering that case. Uh, we're also going to be covering this week a uh, hearing on Joshua Schulte, who was convicted um, uh, of leak, uh, in connection with the leak of the Vault 7 CIA hacking tools to WikiLeaks. Uh, I've written a book about it, Brutal Kangaroo. You can check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Hopefully up the street. Let me show it to you. 100 Center. It's the taller building in the back there, not the Law and Order Courthouse. Um, Richard Cruciani. He's one of at least two dirty docs here, dirty doctors here in the SDNY. We got his, uh, we won an order unsealing his financial affidavit. The man owns three homes. He abused his patients sexually for three decades, and now he has a free lawyer from the federal defenders, which are over there. They'll be blocked by the trees. Maybe not. Uh, their office is on the 10th floor over there. So we won an order, but the federal defenders, using public money, has appealed it to the Second Circuit up there. So it may never be done because we cannot uh, afford either money or time to, to intervene in the appeal, although we were the ones who won this unsealing order. It's shocking. But even more shocking is the UN's absolutely shameful role in Ukraine. Forget that Antonio Guterres said it would, the invasion wouldn't happen, then tried to cover it up. Now he's helping Russia to skirt sanctions. Yes, he made a secret side deal with Russia for them to sell ammonium and get UN contracts. This was so that they would commit to allow Ukrainian grain to go out through Odessa and other ports. Well, they bombed Odessa, and Guterres wouldn't even say that they're the ones who did it. A UN official said, told the New York Times, well, maybe that didn't violate the deal. Now the UN is telling its friends that that was a lie. It, it, no one said that. So who's lying, the New York Times or, or the UN? We're going to find out today, Inner City Press, and we're also going to get back in the UN so we can ask these questions. To continue.